Hey there, it's Heather with Tiller here. And today we're gonna to talk about manually adding your pending data to help you better project your cash flow, and then how to reconcile those transactions when Tiller brings them in automatically. This is great for giving you a sense of what your cash flow would look like for this month or a future month, and just kind of showing you the projection of your income versus expenses here on your business dashboard. So this is a really simple process. All you need to do is go into the add-ons menu, choose Tiller, business, add transaction and then fill in the details for the transaction. So in this example, I wanna just go ahead and project into the next month. So I'm going to add a transaction for the rent of building space in the amount of $125. There's no check number associated with this. I'll go ahead and assign the category rent or lease of buildings and it is a withdraw. I'm gonna leave this flag for reconciliation checked because Tiller is going to automatically bring this in next month. Now, if you had a transaction that you were adding for an account that you're manually tracking because it, Tiller doesn't support the data feed for it, or it's a cash account or something like that, you can uncheck this. The Tiller add-on won't try to reconcile it later. So you can add the single transaction, or you can go ahead and add another transaction or multiple transactions. So I'll go ahead and click add plus one because I want to project a little bit of income for the month of August as well. So it kind of resets for me here. I'll go ahead and choose the date. And I'm expecting a little bit more from Acme Inc. this month. I'll go ahead and assign the category. And then this will be a deposit. And I'll leave it flagged for reconciliation. I can go ahead and add those. This dialog will go away. And then you'll start to see that this income versus expense chart on my dashboard here has updated. So then I can also use the custom date range here to help me see what my next month might look like. That's a little bit of projected cash flow for you here on the dashboard. If you want the Tiller add-on to help you remember to reconcile transactions as they come in automatically so that you don't double count things and it just kind of helps you manage those transactions that are waiting to be reconciled, you can turn on the automatic reconcile trigger here from the Tiller business and then reconcile auto trigger. It's now gonna run automatically when you open your spreadsheet and there are actually records to reconcile. The other thing to note is what the transactions look like on the transaction sheet that are waiting to be reconciled. They're highlighted in this yellow color and this is just to remind you that they are waiting to be reconciled. You can always do this process manually by going into the add-ons menu, Tiller, Business, and then choose reconcile transactions. So if I do this now, it's gonna let me know that there were no transactions found to be reconciled. So I'll just go ahead and cancel. But once August rolls around and these automatic transactions are pulled in, that dialog will populate with the reconciled transaction. So let's just see what that might look like. Now, when I open my Tiller sheet again, after some time has passed, the reconcile dialog will automatically appear asking me if I want to reconcile transactions. So it looks like there are two transactions to reconcile and asks me if I want to do that now. Can always do this manually from the menu later, but now it loads the reconcile dialog. So I'll see in the top the transactions that were flagged for reconciliation. So these were the manual ones that I added and it does one at a time for the manual ones. You might have multiple matches down here in this bottom area, but I'll just select the match. So this is the payment from Acme. That's my $2,500 income. If for some reason this wasn't the right transaction that was a match, I can skip that. But I'll go ahead and say, okay, this is a match. It's gonna go to the next transaction that's waiting to be reconciled, which is the um, rent for the building that I am leasing for my business. And so I can go ahead and choose the match down here in the bottom and then click match. This will disappear and then I will see that my transactions are no longer highlighted in yellow. It retains the description categories that I put here, the dates that I entered. Those are the basics of how to manually add transactions and then reconcile them when Tiller brings in the match automatically. Please reach out to support at tillerhq.com if you have any questions or feedback about these features.